The Esnafu and Esutifi constituencies, both in the Ahafo region, have always been classified as violent points in every general elections. These areas often record pockets of violence, especially during elections. Although there have been efforts by police and civil society organizations to address the recurrent issues in these areas, the CDD Ghana believes the establishment of a military base in the areas will help deal with the situation. You are here, but you've heard about the uh, Sunafo enclaves. Yes, just 2017, after the elections, the Regional Peace Council of Brian Hafo went there to sort of mediate between the MPP and the NDC supporters. They were nearly lynched. It's, it's, it's gone beyond civil society organization. It's been gone beyond the police people that they are not able to handle issues. So I don't advise civil society organizations to go and do the usual thing. It goes beyond the usual thing to have a strict enforcement of legal issues in, the cons in those constituencies. No nonsense military force to be there because they don't care about the police anymore. When we, just this year, my colleague Mausi was there. We are having a project with the national uh, UNDP to update, you know, we have a record of uh, vigilantism. We have done about three data. So we wanted to update it. They, they, they left the place, they couldn't finish. So now it's like we have been beaten for quite a long time. The NDC is off. We have to retaliate. And, and if those people who were beating us are, are around, we're also going to beat them. So when you go to a, a suit now, four enclaves, blah, blah, there are people who have fled the town who belong to the NDC. They will come back when their party come back, and the MPP will also flee. So it's become a, a, a something that's gone beyond moral suasion. It, it, we have to hard, I don't even recommend police. We have to hard because it got to a point that they were, they think the police people there have become used to, so familiar to the community, so they changed them. The news said that one could not solve the problem. Ahead of the 2020 general elections, the CDD Ghana has disclosed it will deploy officers to monitor political party campaigns and issues relating to the elections. Besides our normal long-term environment observation, which we are going to deploy almost 1,000 people uh, for three months, they will be tracking political campaigns across all the constituencies. Let's know who is talking the truth, who is insulting, who is using vulgar words and other things. Aside that, who is making promises that respond to the needs of the marginalized? What did this MPC about the PWD, about women, about youth? So we'll be tracking issues that come up during the elections and we'll be reporting same. Then on the election, they will deploy 7,000 observers across all the electoral, uh, some of the selected polling stations. And they will also usually go by our PVT, the party vote tabulation which set to verify the accuracy of the Electoral Commission's declared results. The CDD Ghana, in collaboration with the Media Foundation for West Africa and the USAID, this week trained selected journalists across the country on election reporting and safety of journalists. At the workshop in Kumase, resource persons admonished journalists to exhibit high level of professionalism when reporting during elections. If you're going to cover an event at a political party office, you have to ensure that uh, you take safety measures, uh, you know, find out the venue, what's the issue that they're going to talk about. Uh, the issue that they're going to talk about may also give you an indication of the level of risk that you may be exposed to. We're pleading with our journalists, when it comes to elections 2020, the reporting should be very professional, should be very factual, accurate. They should cross-check, check, check cross-check again before they report. So that at the end of the day, as we all had this training, the election 2020 will be a very peaceful one for all of us. The content for the workshop included reporting on hate speech and violent language, responsible and public interest reporting, guarding against fake news, safety of journalists during election reporting, and peace promotion through reportage. Some participants spoke to City News. Sometimes issues that come up have got to do with uh, capacity to report accurately on 
the processes, the legal uh, activities, the security and safety aspect of covering, getting attacked, all these things have helped in building up my experiences so that up to this time, if I'm going out to report on anything relating to elections, there are certain uh, red flags that are uh, hosted or raised. In December 2020, I am looking forward to um, a system where journalists will collaborate more with the relevant stakeholders, i.e. civil society organizations, the electoral commission, and most importantly, when it comes to our safety, the primary people in charge is the Ghana Police Service. I hope this time around they are going to provide that needed and protection that they give every single citizen, including journalists, in December 2020. For City News, Hafiz Tijani reporting.